All right, everybody. Let's get this shit going. One more episode after this. We have to see one of the White Hills get shit on. I knew them! What are those things? Oh, God, get over here! Over here! Jackin? Jack and Hagar? A girl gets three names? Cersei. That cunt. Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly <clears throat> you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. As if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest loyal handmaiden. One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm. I see. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you've invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? 
I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. I have in the past, but I won't anymore. You're a clever girl, aren't you? Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. <laughs> I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. Uh, I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me. Assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. Take anything not nailed down. Just not from my house. <laughs> <laughs> that depends on how nice your house is. I'll show them their beds. The fuck? Eight men, basically. I'll be there in a moment. Glad you made it. What choice did I have? You denied me an honorable death. So I must find one in Westeros. Alright, I can live with that. Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You fuck? came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? <laughs> she has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with, uh, cell swords. <laughs> My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! I... Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say.
Ah, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. We might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Willingly. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. I'm ready whenever you are. I doubt we'd get very far. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. Cersei sent you. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage.